In 2013, a mutual friend of Gavin Wood introduced him to Vitalik Buterin. That connection would lead Wood to become a co-founder of Ethereum. But Wood didn't stop there. After co-founding Ethereum, he founded Polkadot and Kusama as well. Both projects have become successes, with Polkadot being the 14th largest crypto by market cap. Very few people in crypto have more experience and success than Wood, and there is much to learn from his life and career. Let's do that in this video together. Ever since he was a child, Wood has always shown interest in game theory and economics. Wood also had an interest in computer programming, which he also pursued. After graduating from school, he followed his passion by studying software design at University of York. After graduating, Wood decided to get a PhD, as one does, and studied music visualization for human-computer interfaces. Once he completed his studies, he continued to work in software programming and began a fascinating career. Wood worked on many interesting projects. These projects include next-generation game engines and an extendable yet scalable structure of audio signal refinement. He also worked on the first C++ language workbench, Marta. And so, in 2011, Wood worked on creating real-time light shows for music, and the tech became a staple at London's nightclubs. At this point, he had extensive software experience and had worked as a high-level software engineer for about 10 years. In 2011, Wood read about Bitcoin, but was largely uninterested in it. In his own words, he was focusing too much on the currency aspect rather than the technology behind it. However, he revisited the idea of the blockchain in 2013 and began to see the real potential in it. He saw that possibilities were opening up between the field of ICT and game theory and he wanted to be an active player. That same year, a mutual friend introduced Wood to Vitalik Buterin. At the time, Buterin had only recently published the Ethereum white paper and Ethereum was still a theory. Immediately after Wood got his hands on the Ethereum white paper, he started building its codebase. By early January 2014, Wood had already built the first Ethereum client. It was a proof of concept of source and was the first sign that Ethereum could be built. And most importantly, Wood had built everything all alone. He also wrote the Ethereum yellow paper, which specified the Ethereum virtual machine. It was the first formal specification of a blockchain state machine to be published. In 2016, Wood decided to do something different and founded Ifcore. He raised pre-seed funding for the startup and the company soon had dozens of developers in more than a dozen countries. Other alumni at Ethereum joined Wood at Ethcore and the company was later renamed Parity Technologies. At Parity, Wood contributed immensely to the project's success. These contributions include building the fastest Ethereum client, Parity Ethereum, and blockchain frameworks like Substrate. Aside from that, he also helped found companies like Grind Singularity, Skytail Capital, Polychain Capital, and Blockchain Capital. While at Parity Technologies, Wood worked on the Web3 Foundation. One of the biggest successes of the Web3 Foundation is the founding of Polkadot. Now, Wood Stalin had some people to believe he must be behind the Bitcoin white paper. And the evidence of the Wood Satoshi theory is quite interesting. First, Wood was about a decade into his software engineering career when the blockchain white paper was released. This means that he had the experience and capacity to write the white paper. Secondly, the projects that Wood has built, Ethereum and Polkadot, are tech marvels in their own right. This shows that he's capable of building important and complex networks. However, a lot of evidence linking Satoshi to Wood is quite circumstantial. While Wood certainly has the skill and knowledge to build something like Bitcoin, he says he was never interested in crypto until 2000. 13. Now, on the flip side, very few people regard Gavin Wood as the real identity of Satoshi Nakamoto. One reason is that Wood has publicly called proof of work, the consensus mechanism that Bitcoin runs on, proof of waste. However, Wood is one of the most instrumental figures in Web3. The ecosystem would likely look very different without his input, so it's important to know who he is. Now, thank you for staying with me till the very end, and I'll see you next time.